I mean, I feel like when I go out, it's a different story, you know? Like, you shouldn't have no problem with me going out, <laughs> but I have a problem with you going out. And no, that's not toxic. I gotta get it now, I gotta get it right. I gotta live it up, I never minimize. minimize. Doesn't really matter how I live it, die. What's going on, amazing people? It's your girl, Naja, and I am back with another video. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Dang. No, I don't have <laughs> but, my throat is just dry. But, what's going on, y'all? Today is Saturday, and it's Erin Day. Okay, so, it's time to run these errands. So, if you're watching this video, y'all, and you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe. Just subscribe, because I'll be giving you more content that you love. Okay, so... Yeah, it's 
cars there. Oh my gosh. I'm full. If I was here at 9 o'clock, they would have um, been at my joint up here. I made it and they said they could do it by 11 but the wax place is like six minutes away and so I'm good yeah and they already took my car to the back and it's not even 10 o'clock so I might have a lot of free time I don't know yeah I, I do know I am but anyways so he just come in here talking about <laughs> you got a brake light out do you want us to fix it Just to the old church. I understand. Thank you, but no. So, yeah. Right now, I'm just waiting. I left my headphones at home. So, but luckily, I'm the only one in here now. Then I got the other two girls out. So, it's gonna be pretty quick. So, I'll just wait for the next adventure after this. Okay, y'all. So my oil change is done and they got they actually got done like really quick. I had like an hour or some change to spare. And okay, let me just get my car um cleaned out or whatever. I went to one, literally as soon as I pulled up, we put a cone there. It was like they're having technical difficulties or whatever. And so I went to another one. The line is mad long, and right now it's 10:34. My appointment is 11.30, but it's a minute away from here, so I'm good. He said it's not gonna take an hour. He said it's gonna take about 35 minutes. So, but it's like one, two, three, four, five. Five cars ahead of me. I bet I ain't late for my cootie bags. <laughs> my cootie bags. <laughs> So, yeah. I don't even know if I gotta get out or what. But they're gonna do my interior, which is good. Because I didn't really do it. So, that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to think about what I mean for lunch. I want some seafood, but then I want Popeyes. I don't know. Okay, the man's in front of me is getting out. Oh yeah, y'all. The, <laughs> the tire guy, the um, Ford guy was like, you need some tires. I know. <laughs> I just bought two tires though, so I'm not gonna buy a new set of tires when I just bought two. And all I gotta do is buy two more. So, you, yeah. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat for lunch. Tell me what y'all Saturday be looking like, y'all. I have not had a productive Saturday in a while. Seriously. Like, I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is, man. When it comes to being an adult, I be freaking lazy. Like, I've been having a hard time adjusting to certain things. So, yeah. Let me see how this car wash go. My car really is dirty on the outside. Mad dirt. Hey, yo! 
<laughs> Y'all, they cleaned this shit up my car, okay? It's like a nice and shiny and red, y'all. And I'm waiting on my cootie appointment. But y'all, I'm having a good day. A good positive day. Ain't nothing went wrong yet, which I'm happy about. So, low key, like, I think I'm having a good productive day because my boyfriend is <laughs> not at the house. I don't know, like, it's crazy. To me, it's like, I don't know. That's what I was talking about with, like, adjusting because when I was by myself, living by myself, I could just, I don't know, like, I just got up and did whatever, whenever, whenever, you know? But, <laughs> once we start living together, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like, I just started slacking on, like, just getting stuff done by myself. Yeah. Just getting stuff done by myself. And I noticed that. It's the adjustment and the change to just daily life. Going from living on your own to living by yourself. And then y'all, I got him, I got my mama. We are all under one roof. So it's very much difficult at times. So yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult. Y'all let me know if y'all, like y'all, if you live with your spouse, what, what is your experience? Or if you live with your spouse and your parents, what has your experience been like? Because, damn. <laughs> okay. But I tell y'all, it's a whole bunch of different, it's, everything is just so new. It's a lot, like it's a lot of adjustment on everybody's end, not just mine. I, th I think I had the most adjustment, I th in my opinion. Yeah, I think I had the most adjustments because fuck, like adjusting, you one, you gotta adjust your space. Then you gotta adjust to different people in your space different people's personality mesh together in the space like oh my goodness so yeah I think that's what it is but as long as I'm getting some stuff done today I don't care and ma if you watch this don't get offended calm down okay because I know you okay <laughs> Relax, okay? You guys, so, if you live with your spouse, comment. I really want to know how, like, what are your biggest issues as far as living together? Because it's just interesting. What? What? Your CBD store for humans and pets. They got CBD for pets? Whatever. So yeah, y'all. I guess we could turn this into a little girl talk thing. So yeah, living with your parent and living with your boyfriend at the same time. It's very, it can be very difficult when you have very, very strong personalities. When, yeah, and it's you in the middle. <laughs> Cause my goodness. But it's not all bad though. It's just, you know, your family versus your spouse. different personalities, different like ways, different like like routines, routine I'm about to say rituals <laughs> different uh, look 
different routines, different schedules. So everything has been a big ass adjustment. So, but me working, me working through it. Oh my God, y'all. <clears throat> I don't want my voice to rest me. Y'all, I feel like a brand new beach. <laughs> Man. I have never, 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 never felt so comfortable with a stranger. <laughs> Looking at my Cody. <laughs> oh my God. I literally feel like a brand new person. Y'all, when I tell y'all this lady she really 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 hooked me up like seriously her her she got a shop in greenwood south carolina and it's called skin sensationals by val her name is valerie martin i'll leave my um link to her facebook and her website so she does skincare honesty brazilian wax deep tissue sweetest massages and body contouring that's what's on the door I don't know if she do all that. I know she do facials and waxes. But girl, y'all, she hooked me up. I swear, she hit places that, the commercial wax places, and I can't even remember which one I went to. She hit places that they have never gotten. I, I mean, it just felt, she was so nice. She made me feel so comfortable. My first time ever, ever, ever getting a wax. I walked, I was so nervous, right? So nervous. I walked into the room. She's like, take clothes off. I'm like, damn, you know, not gonna warm me up or nothing, you know, give me a little room. But Miss Valerie, oh my God, she is so nice. She's so warm. She's so welcoming. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> Y'all. Check out her website, check out her Facebook. This lady is, she's it. She is really it. And she did my underarm, so I was, I was actually really scared, but, and she didn't get my skin tags, which I was, thank you, you know, because I was scared. So she, she had me good with that. I had no bleeding. <laughs> but y'all, oh my God. I feel so good. Like I, I would not say that she's good if she wasn't good because this lady is good. Okay? So y'all go ahead and check her out. She's in Greenwood, South Carolina. And yeah. So I'm hungry. And I want some coffee. I was so scared. I was like, I'm gonna pee on her. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I done got my cootie bags and I got my unarms wax. I done got my car all changed. I done got my car clean. It's time to go eat because I'm sorry. So I'm about to go to Popeyes and we're gonna have a little car bang, a car mug bang, okay? So be right back. Okay, y'all. Uh, so I got my food and I don't know why the hell Popeyes is so high. They're, they are high as hell. Like, damn. Y'all already know if y'all follow me, my handy dandy uh, steering wheel uh, tray. Here we go. Steering wheel tray. I'm going to go ahead. Is that a bug? I'm about to scream. I'm not gonna acknowledge the fact it's a bug. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the car off because it's making mad noise. But y'all, I got Popeyes and they are so freaking high. It's ridiculous. I got some coleslaw. I hope it's good. I really do hope it's good. This thing needs to be more steady. Either. And I got me a combo. Mm. Oh. 
So, like I was saying before, Miss Valerie made me feel comfortable. Took her time. She has plenty of years of experience. She walked me through um, the, you know, the process and everything. Like, I couldn't ask for a better waxer, seriously. Like, and that goes to show you that people that have a business take so much more pride in the business, in the job, than a commercial, like, in a commercial business. So, she definitely, she definitely gained a person. We about to do a car bang, y'all. I mean, Popeyes. What's up? Life. I'm gonna get into the life. Don't get into the life. Life has been so crazy. What in the hell? <laughs> okay. I'm mad at you. Life has been so crazy. I have slacked off a little when it comes to starting my business, but I'm getting back on track. I literally have everything I need. I have my shirts, but it's like, the more I have it, the more I feel like I have to do something else and do something else and do something else with it. Instead of just putting it out there and getting it started, I'm so used to. What in the hell? I'm so used to having ideas and not completely executing them. So it's crazy. Getting outside of that norm is what I'm struggling with. Outside of the norm of just working and coming home versus me, excuse me, me and trying to have my business, trying to, you know, do other things that's going to better myself. And it's, it's difficult because, you know, humans are, are uh, what's, it, what's the saying? Like habits are by nature, some, some shit. We have habits. Humans are creatures of habits. There we go. So I, we have habits, and I'm used to doing the same thing. Go to work, come home, go to work, come home. That anything different is strange, you know? But I'm trying to get out of that habit. It's 2022. We got to change, you know? We got to change somehow. So that's what I'm working on. Because I'm going to start this business. And y'all can go ahead and follow me on my business Instagram. That way y'all know when I drop my shirts, okay? And this week there, gonna come with. If you buy a black and white shirt, you get this free wristband. Invincible. So, I recently turned 30. <laughs> <laughs> and I still ain't got no kids. I have mixed feelings about it, but when I was with my ex, but I was ready for children. But when we broke up, like, it did something to me that I just didn't want children no more. That plus, 
society is just crazy. People are crazy. People are wicked, evil. Like, why would I want to bring a child in this world? And this world is so evil, you know? But I do want, like, children. But I don't know. It's difficult to explain. I hope somebody understands. My biological clock is ticking like this. And the way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. If you understand what I'm trying to say, let me know you understand. Tell me you understand in the comments. But, yeah. Uh -oh. Chicken's good, though. I'm not gonna lie. My boyfriend. I think I have separation anxiety. <laughs> because. With my ex, I, I don't like my spouses to go out. I cannot stand that shit. I don't know where I get this from because I've never been cheated on to just say I don't trust, you know, just to be like, oh, I don't trust you being out. I just don't like my spouse going out because why are you going out having fun without me? That don't make sense to me, you know? Like, I was really bad with my ex. Oh my God. Couldn't stand there. Oh, couldn't stand it. I don't know. Like, I've been trying to, excuse me. I've been trying to analyze, like, why am I like that? <laughs> is it an insecurity? Like, what? what is... I feel like you shouldn't be fine around other people. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I trust, you know, I have a trust problem, but I don't know. I'm going to take some post Um, Leave a comment and let me know if y'all understand what I'm talking about. Like, even fellas, do y'all like y'all girls going out? You know, getting on fine and whatnot. I don't like that. I mean, I feel like when I go out, it's a different story. You know, like, you shouldn't have no problem with me going out. <laughs> but I have a problem with you going out. And no, that's not toxic. It's not like um, KFC or Zaxby's. I had Zaxby's coleslaw last night. I got me a brush in the um, chicken wing, chicken wing gone. But so, what are y'all 2022 goals? My goals are start my business, get this extra income. Be my own boss, be an entrepreneur, and do something for me, you know? Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> Y'all already know what's about to happen. You better not pull up beside me. when I be recording in the car literally secluded by myself like nobody else should be around me and somebody pulls you right next to me like what do you want like do I not look suspicious to you like I'm by myself in the area I ain't gonna pull right next to me I'm being really fat no I need to lose weight I 
I've been thinking about doing a couple's a couple's channel. And so y'all go check out my videos with me and Quim. And let me know if y'all will support us. If we let me know if we should do a couple's channel because we've been really thinking about it. And like we really low-key just be joking all the time. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy how our personalities match. Like for real. It's almost scary. <laughs> it's really almost scary. So when I first met him, like I wouldn't have thought that he had the personality that he has. But when you get to know, like when you get to know somebody, you be like, damn, are you man cool? Like we was raised in the same house. Seriously. We act stupid as shit together. And it'd be fun. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. It'd be so funny. At the, we literally just laugh at the dumbest stuff. And like, I don't know. Like, comment down below if y'all got a relationship that y'all vibe is so good. Like, y'all personalities match, everything. And honestly, I want to say honestly, I want to say that this is my first real relationship. Not downplaying the other relationships, but like we actually done been through some shit. Like, and I have to adjust my camera because my freaking phone overheated on the dash. So I gotta leave the um car running. But yeah, but yeah, not downplaying my other relationships, but the last one it was a long distance relationship, which I took very serious. Um. But to me, it was like damn near perfect. You know? But like we never. And I don't know, this this shit might this might sound toxic. <laughs> This might sound real toxic. Me and my ex never went through like any deep issues, like any. I can't remember. We didn't have that many deep rooted conversations. We probably had like one or two like really bad arguments. This motherfucker I got now. Ugh. Like, we get to so much deep-rooted problems within ourselves, and learning how to communicate, learning how to, like, understand each other. Because even though our personalities are very similar, we are two totally different people. And like I live a certain way, he lives a certain way, and then meshing it, trying to come together. Boy, that could be hard. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. <laughs> Try to make it work with your spouse. 
it's a lot of work to put oh god it's a lot of work that goes into keeping establishing keeping establishing and keeping a relationship it's a lot of work it's a lot of work My first age, he don't count. We was young. We was young and stupid. I was stupid for putting up with the dumb shit. And he was he was stupid for doing the dumb shit. And I hope he watch it too. You see me saying that. Now we cool. Speaking of being cool with your ex, do y'all think it's cool to be cool with your ex? Let me know because, because <laughs> I don't know. I'm cool with my exes. Do I talk to them? No. But I don't know. That first one. Sometimes I can just punch him in the damn face, but I don't think it's an issue with being cool with your ex, depending on the context of the uh, conversations that's being going on, because it, sh it should be strictly just friendly conversation, right? That's it. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section if you think you got good communication skills. Because I think I got good communication skills. Let me know <laughs> if you have any toxic freaking traits. Because last night I have established that I have a toxic trait that I need to work on. And <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> but so Quentin with his homeboys. And here I am at the house. Like, why are you having fun without me? But I was up, not upset, but like annoyed. So I hung up the phone. Like what? I had like an ugly face and I hung up the phone. Now mind you, that's toxic because Calm down for one. And it's almost like I deliberately hung up on him to ruin his mood while he was out. And I realized that after the fact that I hung up when when I damn keep burping. I realized that after I hung up. I was gonna call back and apologize about them. Could be alright. But I have identified a toxic trait that I have. And here I am thinking I'm so perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> but relationship is work. And you know what's so crazy? Cause after my last ex, I said I am not ever, you know, putting another spouse on social media. Because if it don't work out, you look stupid as shit. Because never would I would have thought me and my ex, well, anybody in a relationship never would think they're going to break up, right? Obviously. But because it was on my social media and I was so into the relationship and broadcasting it when we broke up I had to take all the pictures down all the videos down all of that people see that people notice that 
Then people get to looking on your pad. Oh, she deleted such a, you know, she deleted. They must not be together, yada, yada, yada. That shit's embarrassing. Here I am though, <laughs> again. But crazy thing is, we have the type of communication that everything happens. Hopefully, no, hopefully it doesn't. We don't want it to. That we'll still remain friends. No, we ain't. Mm -mm. In his mind, I don't know what he can think in his mind. But we'll still remain friends because, you know, we still got that friendship. And if we don't work out, it is okay. You know, it's fine. And it's life, you know. I had someone tell me before, my last breakup, like, it's life. It happens. It's okay. Like, you're going to be fine. You're going to get through it. You're going to get over it. Didn't feel that way, but it's life. It happens. Papa is high. But they good as shit. Like, for real. And I gotta get home. I gotta use the bathroom. The rest of my goals for today is to go get my big done. Come back, come back tomorrow. I'm gonna have a fresh pretty cure. Fresh wax. <laughs> and work on my business today. I already started my website, y'all. Started my website and it looks so pretty. My website looks so pretty, y'all. I just can't wait to drop. Like, I need to drop my, my shirt to stop playing, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this portion of the video. I'll be right back when I get my feet done. Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? Have you finished those errands? No. Yo, all right, y'all. Today has been a very eventful day, and I have finished my errands. <laughs> um, I just got my feet done, and as you can tell, my errands are off. My lipstick is gone, and you know what that means? It's time to take a number. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a heart in the comment section okay and thank you for being a supporter of my channel if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel i think i'm gonna do more vlogs and i hope this video inspires somebody to get up and do something for the day because i know sometimes it can be very hard to get tasks done okay i'm about to take me a nap and pick back up later on because and I hope my nap I hope I don't wake up at like 11 <laughs> um so thank you guys for coming with me today at the end of the day don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel 